Uh, I hope it was recording. Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Quan, and I'm here to give you that week seven recap in our Leaders of the Old School Fox Sports Fantasy Football League. All right, now this is the recap on all the games who won, who lost, and then I'm gonna take you through on where everybody's ranked within the league. Feel me? All right, check it now. First game I'm going to talk about is what do you expect versus too hot for TV. I'm going to get through this one real quick. It was looking all sweet and everything for too hot for TV. I had the lead. It was like 94 to 80 some odd points. But in the fourth quarter, Monday night, what you expect came through. I want to say they had Arian Foster, maybe. Stuck the dagger in me, yo. And I was not feeling it. And I was not expecting it. I was hoping it would not go that way. But what you expect comes out with the win. 103 to 94. Next game, we've got Texas Fire going against the A-Town Jags. And this... This obviously is not a week for the elements because Texas Fire couldn't even create a spark against the A-Town Jags. A-Town Jazz comes through with the win 108 to 69. Next game, we've got the King Street Wildcats going up against Top Flight. And even though Top Flight isn't can't say it's an element, you know. So I guess it's only right that they do their thing and exceed past, you know what I'm saying, the mark that elements have set against the wildlife. You know what I mean? So top flight, they come out on top and handle their business against King Street Wildcats. 80 to 72. Not much of a margin of victory, right? Eight points. But hey, a win is a win is a win. Feel me? Now, next game, we got the PTO Tigers going up against the Rough Riders and I don't know what's going on with PTL Tigers you really need to see what's going on with your team get in your locker room you might need to smack a few people around because I don't know what's going on but you have the lowest score in the league and this is probably the lowest score I've ever seen in fantasy football PTL Tigers lose with a score of 35 points And that pause was intentional. 35 points to Rough Riders. 68 points. And I mean, both y'all need to be up in the locker room finding out what's going on. Because even getting 68 points, you shouldn't even never have even one baby girl. But, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I guess there was a reason you was matched up against Peach Hill Tigers. So you can get that win. Regardless of all of that, it helps you. You're already at the top, and now you done moved up to you almost in the number one spot. But anyway, last game I'm about to go over. We got the Dome Wreckers going up against Team Ramon. And here we go again. We got another game with a bunch of low scores. And it's like you got people that scored more and lost who was like, damn, if I only went against them, I would have had a victory. You know, that is neither here nor there. The only thing I can let you know is that Team Ramum comes through with the victory. 67 points to 41 points. Now, with the rankings in our league from the bottom to the top, we've got, with a record of 1-6, the Dome Records in 10th place. With a record of 2-5, and five, we've got King Street Wildcats with a I already said the record. They're in ninth place, okay? Now, <laughs> we got two teams with a record of three and four, and they are in eighth place. What'd you expect? And Team Ramum in seventh place, okay? Now, we've got five teams with a record of four and three. In sixth place is Top Flight. Fifth place, Peach Hill Tigers. Fourth place, Texas Fire. Third place, Too Hot for TV, and in second place, Rough Riders. 
with a record of six and a one, doing their thing splendidly. And I can't even front. We've got the A-Town Jags, first place. Yo, don't get too happy up there in first place. All right, everybody, we need to get on the ball. You know what I'm saying? Get on point so we get that number one spot. I know I want that championship this year. I'm, every year I'm going for that championship. You know what I mean? So, I will check you all next week. That's enough of that type of talk. And... I'm going to wish you all a fond ado. It's your boy Quan, leaders of the old school. I'll see you next week. Peace.